everyone, this will be a knitted kitty. For this tutorial, you will need some fluffy yarn, knitting needles. These are bamboo needles, 3.5 millimeters. Then you need some stuffing material, whatever you have at home. Then we need some yarn for the eyes. So I have your black yarn. You can use also blue or green, yellow, whatever you like. A wool needle, scissors, and maybe a crochet hook if you like. But you can do this also with your knitting needles. So for the cat, we have three parts. We have here the tail, our head, and the body. And we will work this in any pattern you like. So you can you can use pearl or whatever whatever you like. It doesn't matter. You can use only only normal knitting stitches. And the tape part will be eight stitches. So these are stitches and 40 rows. The head part will have 16 stitches, also 40 rows. And the body part has 32 stitches and also 40 rows. But you can, you can change these stitches and also the rows. So maybe you want to have a thicker, thicker cat or a longer cat or a thinner cat. So you can change these numbers as you like. So you don't have to look for this or to do this in the same way. And now we'll start, we'll start knitting. I've already done this tail section and as you can see I, I used the stockinette stitch and I will show you this on the head part. So first we start with a slip knot for this make a circle with the long strand under the circle, pull it through and you get a loop, insert your knitting needle into this loop and then tighten your work, but not too tight. So this is okay. Then we take our second needle and we cast on 16 stitches. So this is the first stitch. And I put my needle like this, then I grab the yarn and pull it through the stitch. And then I pull it, I put it backwards like this, and then I pull the yarn through again. Put it backwards. And so on until we have 16 stitches. So these are 16 stitches. And now we will work the stockinette stitch. And I am using the purl stitch from the back of the loop and also the knit stitch through the back loop. So for me, this is easier. I like this way to work the stockinette stitch, but you can use normal the normal knit stitch and the normal purl stitch. So it will work also in the same way. Okay, so first I have my yarn on the front side because I want to purl the back of the loop and I first insert the needle on the front side from above and then take it off and then I start to purl. And for this I insert my needle like this from above on the front side. Then I grab the, the yarn, pull it through and take off. Okay, so again from above, grab the yarn, pull it through and take off. And this is the first row. 
You can also start with the knit stitch, it doesn't matter if you start with the pearl or with the knit stitch. Like this. And I will make here my little mark. I should have done one row that I know. And then the next row will be the knit stitch. Okay. So then the second row, the knit stitch, and I knit through the back loop. So I'm going through the back loop of the stitch from above and then I take it off the first one and then I will knit it. So grip the yarn, pull it through, take off from above, grip the yarn, pull it through, take off. And this is the second row. And this is all you have to know about this pattern, this stocking knit pattern. So one row is the purl stitch and the next row is the knit stitch. And you alternate between these two rows until you have 14 rows. Not 14, 40. 40, 40 rows. Yeah, sorry. Okay, yeah, and that's it. So you continue doing this until you have 40 rows. And then we'll meet again at this point. As you can see, I've knitted 40 rows. And now we have to cast off. You can use your knitting needle for this and I will use a crochet hook. This is also the same size and I will I will cast off by crocheting single crochets first. I will take off the first stitch and then I'm going through the next stitch I grab the yarn and pull it through this stitch and then I take off and then yarn over and pull through two. Okay, one more time through the next stitch on the needle, pull the yarn through the stitch, take off, yarn over and pull through. And this is uh, quite elastic cast off so you don't have to look for your tension. Yeah, and you do this until the end of the row. Now we have one stitch left. Make sure your yarn is long enough that you can sew this later. And then you can cut this like this. And then pull the yarn through the last stitch. The whole strand. and then tighten okay yeah and you will do this in this way for for the tail section and or also for the body section if you finish all three parts we can start sewing and stuffing and i have here already my wool needle and this long strand here and this will be the tail section I'm going through this corner and I will sew first this side to close this So actually what you see here will be also the outside. You can you can sew this also from the other from the other side and then turn it inside out, but it's easier for stuffing if you do it in this way. But you can do it how you like or as you like, it doesn't matter. So and then after sewing this section I'm going backwards that I can continue sewing in this direction. I 
And if you've done some stitches, oh, this one is quite too big space. I will redo it once. Yeah, this is better. Okay, so and if you've done some stitches, you can stuff it already here. can use any stuffing material which you have at home. If you have uh, some, some material which is good for the washing machine, it's better. So if you can put this afterwards. You can help with your crochet hook. With the corners, and this is also the reason why I'm stuffing now and not after sewing Oops. <laughs> yeah, and then you go on and you do this all the time sewing and stuffing until the end this is the tail so far and we have to close it here some stitches left going backwards so I have here a strand and I can tie a knot this is quite good whoops so time this great and then you can leave your strand like this to sew it onto the body and the short one you can hide this into the tail and we go through our work come here somewhat out. Okay. Then we tension it and cut the strand and then it's gone. Yeah, this is the tails are quite easy. Very simple.